Uh, this gentleman there by the column, yes. Um, have you guys felt a, an effect of having this cruise on you artistically? Yes. Uh, <laughs> there's less time. To do <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> So, so the reason we, we haven't made more music in the past few years, it's your fault. <laughs> uh, but uh, you're, you're probably asking in terms of, uh, you know, I'd say, uh, I know for me that this is a week I look forward to just with incredible joy. <laughs> and I do think about, wow, when I'm sitting down in song, writing, performing dude mode, I do think it's in the back of my head. Wow, you know, this would be really cool when we do this on the cruise and thinking about the vibe of the Sea Monkeys, which is also you know, the vibe of, I feel like it's the, the concentrated gold core of, <laughs> of the fan base. Mm. So, sort of to think about, if the fan base on the whole is to think about the Sea Monkeys. Mm. I, uh, I also know from the past couple of years, especially with some of the returning performers, uh, something we did not expect, though it's not surprising when you think about it, is uh, they feel it's it's kind of a challenge to them that they want to come up with new material for the cruisers because they've seen it before. So, for example, last year, Will Wheaton tried doing stand-up for essentially the first time, certainly the first time in front of that large of a group, uh, and it was really kind of... It was, it, for me, it was one of the more special events to see someone, uh, you know, Will Wheaton could easily, being the, the geek icon that he is, could have just come out and gone Star Wars reference, Star Wars reference, Star Wars reference, <laughs> nerd, and people would have enjoyed it. Um, but it, it was nice to see that, that, you know, he wanted to both challenge himself and deliver something uh, for all of, all of you. Uh, and I've, I've been very glad that that's been one result of, of the cruise as well.